What up, YouTube? Bring you guys a brand new video on my setup. Let me give y'all a little, little view of it from back here. Yup, know, this is uh, four years of hard work and dedication to the game of Barbary. Uh, I just want to start off with how I started cutting hair. So when I uh let me unfog this. When I first started cutting hair, I was in the in the back room upstairs. And uh it was probably literally this. From that little angle right there to this angle right here, and that's it, and back. So it was a little ass space. And uh that's when I started cutting hair. I had a computer chair. So a regular table, one of those foldable tables, and I had some the corded wall designers with the peanut, little trimmer. Yeah, I started with those clippers and, you know, four years and now I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but what, after like half a year of cutting hair in the back and learning, developing my skills, um, I got recruited to a barbershop. Definition barbershop where I worked two years and right there I was able to develop my skills even further and I learned as much as I can from the people that were around me um, After that I ended up coming here and I've been here for about a year and a half now year and I was able to hook all this up the basement because uh, in the beginning I didn't start off in the basement. I was in the back uh, Yeah, man this career right here changed my life. Cutting hair literally changed my life. I was going through a lot of things when I was when I was a little younger, and I felt like this guided me towards the right direction. And I, I love what I do. I honestly love what I do. I love cutting hair. I love talking to the people that come to my and sit down in my chair. It's it's a daily thing. I love this. All right. So I'm gonna start with this right here. I pretty much have three setups. In one setup. You know what I'm saying? I got three setups and one setup. I started off with this little table right here. And this was over here with a little mirror. I had a little black mirror. Um, and just that right there in the middle. And that's that was my setup. You know, and then it evolved. I bought ended up getting one of these. So I could like have it look more a little bit more professional, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like at the mirror where I had right here, you know, it just wasn't looking that good. So, what I got right here, I got my cocoa butter, almond. So, when I get facials, I'll use that for their, um, for their, face, for their skin. Uh, I also have my black mask here and my color express. My kiss express, I mean. My old sheen, all that stuff. This is just, you know, little products I have right here. I got my books, chess, investments, more chess, hand sanitizer, all that. Right here, these babies that I bought not so long ago. The Ultra Fast Leads. I mean, not the Ultra uh, Octane. I love these, man. $320. A little pricey, but it's worth it. I used to have, you just use these right here. Got two pairs, 76s. The other shit, too. All right, let's move on over here. I got my school kit right here. All that. Not going to go through all that, but you know what I got. I usually show y'all in the Chicago, uh, Barber School in Chicago videos. Check those out if y'all don't know. Um, I go to Barber School at His and Hers, and I love it there. The atmosphere is pretty cool. The people are cool. I uh, other setup right here. I got my detachable blades from the 5 op all the way up to a 3.5. The only one I'm missing is a 3. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just use, you know, one of these clippers with a 3 guard and just use that. Right here, I got my cordless seniors, my magic clips, my cordless designers, and these Slimline Pros LI with the GTX blade. We got the Prodigies. These are decent. They're alright. 
Bronze Series 7 Shraver. I recommend this, man. You probably get it 80 bucks on eBay. You could adjust the sensitivity. Got my regular Andy Shaver. I got two of these. My Andy's T outliners. These are the shit I recommend. 160. You should you should you could get them on Amazon. <laughs> these are the best trimmers in the game. These and these. Those two. These two. Probably like 175 on Amazon. You get these. And this masters, you already know the cordless tea, cordless uh man this masters. These what 250? You know what I'm saying? A little overpriced. These clippers a little overpriced. I'm not gonna lie. This is 180 on uh, 160. Well, like one 120, a hundred, a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck? Y'all charging too much now. These companies are charging too much. I forgot to show y'all over here. This is the Babyliss. These are decent. They're decent. Not the best, not the worst. And I want to show y'all my uh, Clipper Graveyard. I also wanted to add one more thing. If you're a beginning barber and you honestly don't know where to start, the best thing to start or the best way to start is by cutting your friends and family. If you have a little brother, father, cousin, uncle, any of them, if you have a family member that you could cut, cut their hair. Trust me, because repetition is the most important thing to getting better in cutting hair in this career. In this field, you need repetition. You're not going to get good cutting only one head, two heads a week. You know what I'm saying? No, that's you, no. You need to cut. Find people to cut. If y'all can see, I got my cordless seniors, some fast fees, and his T outliners, fucking some magic clips, slimline pros. You know, that's the graveyard right there. I'm gonna show y'all these shears real quick. Amazon, forty dollars. Worth it. Sharp, very sharp. Got my uh, compressor. I don't really do enhancements. Not a lot of my clients ask for it. I don't know. They're not big on it. I'm not big on it. There's a lot of barbers that use this shit. Like every haircut. I do have my solution right here. Got nothing none against enhancements. You know, you're enhancing the haircut. You know, y'all y'all motherfucking haircuts look photoshopped on Instagram. I'm all here natural and shit. I can't compete, man. I can't compete. <laughs> If you don't know what this is, this is a Tesla current and a facial steamer built in one, which is pretty freaking cool for electromagnetic therapy and hot towels and steams, steaming facials. Uh, this is also a hot lather machine. If y'all don't know what this is, um, you put a barber saw can inside and it heats it up. You turn it on, heats it up, and it spits out the hot lather. I usually put it in here. Grab this. Mix it in there a little bit, apply it to the skin. I recommend you get one of those, probably like 40 bucks. And that right there is 200. Another thing to add, when you're first starting off, you're not gonna be making money like that. You're not gonna be making money. You're developing your skills, okay? It's not like you get a job at fucking, at Tony's, you're pushing a little cart and you're getting paid $12 an hour, 11 or $9 an hour, whatever. It's not like that, okay? You get paid on your service and the quality of your service. If your quality is 4 out of 10, what do you expect to get paid? You know what I'm saying? Let's say your quality is 4 out of 10, you know you're not up there so the maximum you could charge is let's say fifteen dollars you know what i'm saying for your service but once you start developing your skills you're going to increase that price 30 35 40 50 60 dollars per haircut per service you know what i'm saying you got to dedicate your time put hard work in in the beginning where it might not be worth it so in the long run it is worth it I uh hot towel, hot towel machine. I am a Bears fan. This, this Chicago, by the way, if y'all don't know, 
this Chicago. This is I'm in Chicago. I'm a Chicago barber, born and raised. K Town, Potomac. You know what I'm saying? This is it, man. I got my two ring lights. They're about 120 each. The hot towel was like 150. Right here, I got a little hook and I put my capes, my aprons right here. So I got that apron hanging up and I got this apron right here hanging up. I can put my shears and all that stuff there. When I get ready to cut, I put that on. It's like getting suited up. It's like getting suited up. You put that on, boom, put your shears right here, boom, 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 hot towel, boom. You know what I'm saying? You get ready. Cutting off at your home for cutting hair is probably one of the best things to do. You know, unless you're working at a shop on commission, starting off in commission. Because if you're starting off on booth rent, they're... That's not good. You already have an obligation and a liability that you have to pay each month. I'd rather you just start off with commission. And if your your clients, if 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 you, you know if you're not doing a lot of haircuts, you're not penalized for it. Um, is there if there's any questions any of y'all have, I'd love to answer them. Land, I need I need ideas for videos. I need y'all to brainstorm for me and post in the comments below so I could just make those videos you know whatever y'all want to see i think everything like that i do got to get used to talking to a camera uh it comes within time i guess you know what i'm saying i've been up doing youtube for about a year now and i am getting comfortable i'm getting faster with editing and all that stuff but still you know there's i got a lot to grow a lot a lot of progression that needs to be made um this youtube channel is probably gonna go on forever for the rest of my career Years and years and years of videos. So this is y'all seeing me when I'm 20 years old. If y'all go back a few years, I was 17. You know what I'm saying? So with two two years in the game, you know I thought I, I thought I was cool. Thought I was raw. No. <laughs> yeah. I also got a darts game and a pool table. It's Nipsey right there. Uh, yeah, man. Usually when me and my pops are in here chilling and um, it's work time. I'll pull the table in the middle, get it ready for a game, you know, put the, put the chairs to the side and uh, make space. And uh, yeah, we just we can play darts, play pool while while you're waiting. Usually, I, I go by appointment only, so it's usually in and out, in and out. But sometimes, you know, after I'm done working or if I got time between haircuts, we could bust out a game or something, you know, bonding time with your clients. I feel like the relationship you build with them is very important. Uh, most of the clients I cut now, I've been cutting for over three years, almost four years now. Um, yeah, man. If y'all are watching this, I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. Literally, I would not be here if it wasn't for y'all. Like, I gotta cut y'all hair. I gotta do the hard work. But, you know what I'm saying? Literally, if y'all didn't give me the opportunity to cut y'all hair, I would not be making the money and be in the position I am today. So, I just wanna thank all of you. Every single one of you. Thank you.